Disc automatic, this beat came to me on a stretcher mm. In the lab, I step to the mic and feel like I'm Dexter mm. I'm a man, dark world, but I'm still shining like treasure mm. Yeah, I got joy like ha 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 Wait, and I can't wear smiles, that's fake Then I'm between love and strong Hey, clock says no time for men Stakes, ring the alarm Sirens go off, but I'm calm My life resides in his palm Submit to my pops, respect for my mom Honor and both so my life will be long huh. Third time, get the charm of the third strike Had to What's going on, drivers? Welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper, and I am your host, I'm Old Snapper. If you're new to the channel, smash that like, subscribe button, whatever, whatever side it's on over there, I don't, I don't know. I get them mixed up. So one of the, one of the corners, hit them both. Uh, if you are not new to the channel, you're looking at this mask, and you're probably like, why Snapper got a anonymous mask on? Well, if you've been watching my shorts at all, or if you follow me on TikTok, you know the story behind it. I've kind of been doing skits over there uh, using several different characters and several different masks. And okay, we're here. Now what? Now we make Snapper one of us. We came all this way for a fat bald guy. Because our leader wants to learn truckers. Ask him. Okay. Here it goes. <gasps> what just happened? You're one of us now. Why abduct me? We want to be truckers. Well, anal probes are not a good start. I kind of like it. I don't know. I just kind of like it. You know, so it, it kind of, it, it grew on me. It kind of stuck with me. So I was like, you know what? You know, I don't know any other trucking channels that are doing this. There's other channels outside of trucking. Like you got that, uh, that one big YouTuber that uses the round deal. There's another pretty good, pretty good size YouTuber. I think he's probably a little over a million and he's got that big yellow thing with the X's on it, you know? So I thought, well, ain't nobody in trucking that does this. So why not do something different? Be different, stand out it is what it is. Some of you gonna like it. Some of you won't. I can't make all of you happy. I mean, that's just the way it goes, but I'm gonna do what I like. That's just that's just that, right? And if you got a YouTube channel, I suggest you do what you like. You know, I mean, you're never gonna make everybody happy. And if you get people in your comments that talk crazy or anything like that, it's real simple. You click on their name in the app, you hit hide user from channel. They can still watch your content. They can still comment, but nobody ever sees it, including myself or any of the other subscribers. So they can voice their frustrations out into the vast nowhere <laughs> into the vast whatever right but you just do your thing you do what makes you happy that's the same thing i do i do my thing i enjoy tiktok i mean i enjoy tiktok i enjoy uh youtube i enjoy uh I, you know sharing my videos on facebook and other places and getting creative and doing things a little bit different you know so what the heck? Why not? Today, we're going to talk about something I think is really important. And it's something that's happening a lot. A whole lot. As a matter of fact, I drove uh, I drove about 500 miles today. It was a short day for me. And I counted each time this happened. All right. And it happened to me 11 times. 11. 11 times this happened to me. So... And to be, be honest with you, it happened almost every time I encountered the situation. Almost every single time. So if it's happening to me, I'm sure it's happening to everybody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, it's happening too much not to, right? And uh, you might be wondering, what is that thing that's happening? What's that thing that's, that's going on that's, that's, uh, that's happening so much? You know, it's, it's a real problem in trucking. And that's people getting on the highway on on-ramps. You know, not truckers. I'm talking about cars. We refer to them as four-wheelers. These cars getting onto the highways, right? Eleven times. The car... Eleven times I had this happen. I'm in the right lane. I'm going along. Cars entering the highway. He's well up in front of me. He's probably three car lengths in front of me. All he's got to do is keep going and he'll be right on the highway. He gets right up to the highway, sees me in his mirror, and hits his brakes. 
just stops. Why? Why? Just keep going. You know? So, I posted this deal on shorts and I posted this deal on TikTok. Um, and it was kind of a similar situation. It was an accident where a truck was merged or a truck was in the left lane passing somebody. A car decided to merge because it's a merging situation. And uh, he just went ahead and came on over on the truck. Well, like always, there's always cars trying to jump in front of you. Oh, what's this guy doing? Uh oh. I was going to try to force his way in there. Why do cars always think they can battle trucks? You're not going to win. You're going to lose. And this is going to be your fault. I don't even know what to say anymore. It's crazy. I'd like to see an automated truck deal with that fiasco. I noticed in the comments that a lot of people in cars seem to think that the merging traffic has the right of way and that it is the responsibility of whoever is on the road to make room for them or if you're in a lane and they're coming over it's your responsibility as a truck driver or whatever to slow down or move over for the track for the car that's coming over that's incorrect i don't know I don't know what's going on out there. I don't know if driver's ed is teaching this or some crap or I don't know what's going on, but that's not the law. That's not how that works. Merging traffic does not have the right of way. The traveling lane, whoever's, whoever's holding up real estate within the traveling lane going down the highway, they have the right of way. Merging traffic has to adjust to the, to the traffic on the highway. They either speed up, slow down. They have to find their way into the highway. You know, and if a person has, you know, if a person moves over for them or, or whatever, that's, that's out of gratitude, you know, them being kind, right? Because they don't have to. You can sit in the right lane and never move if you don't want to. You can sit in the right lane and never slow down or speed up. That, it is that car's job to get on the highway properly. Now, here's what I think is happening. I think cars are entering the highway. And as they're entering the highway, they're playing on their phone, they're daydreaming, they're uh, thinking about mama at home or daddy at home or whatever. They're not paying attention at all. They're oblivious. All of a sudden, they realize they're at the end of the on-ramp, they're at the highway, they look up, they see a truck, and they panic. Okay, so that's a problem. And it's become a serious problem. It happened to me 11 times. I counted it. 11 times in one day cars not merging properly you know so i figure well you know i'll put it i'll talk about this a little bit on the channel uh see what some of the viewers think you know but i think it's important you know share this video uh talk to your loved ones talk to your kids talk to your grandkids talk to your friends you know this is something that is a real problem and, and I'm, there's a, I'm sure there's a lot of people getting hurt, you know, from not merging onto the highway properly. Okay, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's absolutely crazy. Another thing I wanted to talk about is I posted a uh, short of a truck. And the truck driver was talking on his phone. He had his phone up like this. And he's chit-chatting on his phone. And uh, he's driving down the road. And it was real foggy. Runs up on a uh, toll booth, goes through the toll booth. There's two cars in the toll booth. Goes over both of them, right through the toll booth. It's in my shorts. I think I posted it yesterday. This right here is exactly why most insurance companies are starting to require cameras, driver-facing cameras. This crap right here. There were so many comments on there that blamed the fog. You know, well, yeah, the fog is 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 the problem yes correct but uh i don't know if these schools aren't teaching these uh uh trainees properly i don't know what the deal is yeah the fog is a problem the fog is is yes it is the problem but still as a truck driver you are responsible for who you kill so if you killed two people and i'm pretty sure he probably did kill both of those people or at least the first car he did 
So if he killed whoever he killed, he's responsible for their life. Be it jail time, lawsuits, prison time, whatever. He's going to be responsible for that. You know, so it's important as trainers to teach your students the importance of that so that they're not encountered with that situation. When they get the wake-up call that they're responsible for killing whoever they killed, they you, they don't need to get that wake-up call in a courtroom facing a 10-year sentence, 100-year sentence, or a life sentence, or whatever. That's It's way too late at that point. It's really important to stress the importance of the, your responsibility as a driver and the things you are responsible for, including your negligence in killing people around you. Now, I know some of you right now are probably like, what do you mean negligence? You just said it was foggy. It's still negligence because you need to be able to stop in the distance you can see. All right. And that's for whatever conditions are out there, be it fog, be it rain, be it snow, sleet, whatever. You need to be able to stop in the distance you can see. And the way you gauge that going down the highway is you watch your mile markers, you watch signs, you watch you're, as you're going down the highway, you're looking at that sign. When it appears to you, you start counting. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. When that sign gets to the front of your truck, stop counting. You know, and if you if you count the four 1,000s and that sign's at the front of your truck, you're going too fast. You need to slow it down. I try to keep it at six 1,000s. That's just me. You know, that's... I can normally stop in, in six or seven seconds, you know, from, you know, so that's what I try to keep it at. So I'll slow it down a little bit and I'll watch for the next sign. Then when the next sign approaches, I start counting one, 1,000, two, 1,000. If I get to six, 1,000 and it's not at the front of my truck, I'm good. Right. That's, and that's, that's how you measure that. That's how you do that. That way, when you're going down the road in the fog, and or whatever it is and, and a car is disabled in the lane or there's an accident or uh, you run up on a toll booth or whatever you've got plenty of time to stop and not become a part of the problem now granted people behind you might run into you after you come to a stop because there's so many people out here that don't know how to drive they think they do but they don't so by him driving too fast and being on his phone it, they're they're going to call it, it's a negligent homicide or vehicular homicide. You know, there's many different ways that they word it depending on what state you're in. And it does carry prison time. You know, we're not hearing that guy's response because he's probably locked up, to be honest with you. You know, that's probably why you're not hearing his response. That's why he's not responding. He's, some of these videos got millions of views on them. He ain't said a word because he's probably locked up. You know, so if you care about your students and you care about training, teach your students this so that they don't have to face, you know, not saying they will, but so they don't take a chance on facing this problem one day and possibly losing their life sitting in a cell rotting away because they weren't taught properly. Teach them how to figure up their distance. Teach them how to uh, adjust their speed so they know they're going at a safe speed. And here's the other thing. Let's say, let's say it's extremely foggy. And you keep slowing down, you keep slowing down. And before you know it, in order to get six seconds, you got to be doing 30 miles an hour on the interstate. Well, obviously, that's way too slow. Now you're more of a hazard than you are anything. So here's what you do. You find your next available place to stop. You ease off to that place to stop. And you wait there until the fog lifts or the fog clears or whatever. That's the proper way to do that. All right. If you're a trainer, if, you do, if you're a new driver and your trainer hasn't taught you that, now you know. All right? Now you know. That's just, that. it's that simple. Something else I want to talk about. For the last month, I've had Verizon and I've had T-Mobile. Uh, I started with T-Mobile. I've had T-Mobile a few years. But the signal was getting so bad. And ever since they've joined with... Uh, Oh, uh, Sprint, it seems like the signal's gotten worse. They came, they rolled out the 5G. It continued getting worse. So I went and got a Verizon phone. I'm going to be cutting off, uh, cutting off my, uh, T-Mobile phone here within the next few weeks. 
but it it gave me an opportunity to compare the signal and compare service both internet and phone calls and i gotta say if you're a truck driver you definitely want to have a, a verizon phone uh it is by far and i mean by far it gets signal i mean it, it it's not even it's not even on the same level as t-mobile t-mobile's way below it you know um t-mobile won't have any signal i'll still have 5g and internet and everything else on verizon my verizon my verizon service just totally wipes out t-mobile and that's comparing them head up straight up the only thing that kind of sucks about verizon is i pay about ten dollars more a month from my verizon than what i do for my t-mobile for about the same package it's a pretty similar package so that's the only that's the only thing that kind of sucks but as far as signal internet a uh, hot spot you can't beat it i'm gonna tell you that right now you can't beat it verizon doesn't pay me verizon doesn't sponsor me that's just an honest truck driver review i got it in arizona i've had it uh well i went to florida i went north carolina I went to texas I went to arizona washington um nevada i mean i've been all over with it and hands down Verizon has signal anytime. I mean, it's it's rare that I lose signal on Verizon. And if I do lose signal on Verizon, I normally just drop it for a second and I get it right back. You know, so I, if I if you're a new driver, you're thinking about coming into trucking, or you're not happy with your cell phone service, I highly suggest Verizon, 100%. It, it is hands down a much better phone service. Anyway, that's all I got for the day. Wanted to uh, kind of do this thing with, you know, with this little mask and see how it went and see how it records and stuff on a, on a long video. I've done shorts with it and I've got more shorts lined up with uh, skits for these shorts and TikTok and Instagram and Facebook reels and all that. But I wanted to try a long video and see how it went. I kind of like it. It's grown on me. But uh, we'll see how the audio comes out. We'll see how all that works out. See how the audience takes it. Uh, see how many I got to scoot along. You know, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay safe. Remember, we are all family out here. Even if we are a little bit dysfunctional. And keep trucking. This is how it go. I got some secrets. I'm shaking the game so they stay on their toes. Stay in your lane. I to stay on the go. I can to play with the pros. And act like a rookie so they overlook me. Then I double up again. None of their nose. None of them cold. They just got lucky but never adapted. So I'm to the one if it's coming to blows. My enemies cutting it close. I let them think that they got me. But what do you know? I had them beat before we ever spoke. I'm ready for smoke. I need to know everything. Who and the what and the where. I need everything. Trust me. I hear what you're saying. But I like it's new what you're telling me.